In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to request an image using Micro Observatory. First, access the Micro Observatory website by going to www.microobservatory.org. That address again is www.microobservatory.org. On this page, you'll see a set of four Micro Observatory access portals. We want the one that says Observing with NASA, which is the first one. This will take you to the Observing with NASA page, where you'll find a series of tabs along the top. Again, you want the first one, which says Control Telescope. This is where you will actually choose what the telescope will take a picture of, so click on it. Okay, so now you are on the Select a Target page, and you have roughly 40 targets to choose from. However, since the Earth is constantly moving, objects in the night sky shift in and out of being visible to the telescopes you control. That's why there are times when certain objects are grayed out on the Select a Target page, because they aren't visible to the telescopes. Right now, it looks like that includes Mars, the Orion Nebula, and a few others. But that still leaves about 35 to choose from, so I'll choose the Andromeda Galaxy. Click the Observe button. Now that I've chosen my target, I have three areas where I have to make a decision. The first is field of view, which essentially means how narrowly you want the telescope lens focused on your target. Do you want it very narrowly focused so that you get a zoomed in view of your object? Or perhaps very wide so that you can observe a much larger area of the sky? You may see multiple options come up for other targets, but for the Andromeda Galaxy we only get one option, normal view which is somewhere between narrow and wide, so I'll select that. Next, we have exposure time. This determines how long the telescope is taking the picture of your target. Nearer objects, like the moon for example, give off much more light, so the telescopes don't need to be exposed to the image for as long. As you'll see, Micro Observatory recommends you use the shortest setting for the moon, an exposure time of 0.1 seconds. Distant objects like galaxies give off far less observable light though, and so the telescopes need to be exposed to the light from those objects for much longer. For the Andromeda Galaxy, Micro Observatory recommends the maximum exposure time of 60 seconds. If you choose a shorter exposure time, the program will still let you take the picture, but you can see that it warns you that the image may be underexposed. Underexposed means the telescope camera hasn't been exposed to the light from the object for long enough, and the picture you get back won't look very good. Last, we have filters. These are the different methods of enhancing the light coming from your object. Some targets will only have one filter option, in which case just choose that and go with it. But for the Andromeda Galaxy, we have the option to choose just red, just green, just blue, or all three. If we select all three, we will later have the option to combine all three filtered images into one true color image that gives a detailed picture of what the galaxy looks like. I'm going to select this option. If you don't yet know how to combine red, green, blue filtered images, you can learn how to do it with the tutorial, How to Create a True Color RGB Image. Click Continue when you've got all your settings ready. Finally, we have the Submission page. Fill in your email address and make sure it's accurate, because Micro Observatory will send your images to your email once they have been taken. Select your age, gender, and state. And how much astronomy experience you have over here. Let us know if you are willing to be contacted in the future or not and then click Submit. The next day, check your email. An email containing your images should come from microobservatory support at cfa.harvard.edu. If you don't see an email, check your junk or spam folder. Otherwise, wait until the end of the day because sometimes it takes up to 24 hours from when you request it. And once you've gotten the image you requested, make sure to watch the How to Process a Fits Image tutorial next. 